Now I'm going to take you through our templates as the last thing uh, on the schedule here. So within each template, or you can create a template, which is the blueprint of the schedule. Add, create a new template, let's say test for the front of house. Now it will populate here, and what you can do, this is, this is adding the shifts that you need to, re to require to fill your schedule. So click this green add button, Choose any skill level that will just populate anyone who is able to work that role. You can choose the skill levels as I mentioned in the employee profiles or specific person if you have the same people working the same shifts every week or just bring them in as open shifts. I'll just choose any skill level for now and do the start time, end time. And now you can also use our BD feature. So BD stands for business decline, and this just communicates to the employee that they're scheduled until the business declines. The end time is used to calculate the labor cost on the schedule, but the employee does not see the end time. They just see uh, 4 p.m. to BD. Choose the days these shifts appear on and save. Now, once you have your whole template built out, and you come back to the schedule. Let's go to the next week here. And what I'm going to do under tools here is just clear the schedule. And you can come to tools and fill from template. Choose exactly what template you'd like and create the schedule. So the, the templates will work around availability, time off, max weekly hours, those rules you've created within the template, as well as uh, any overtime rules that you've created and then also the advanced labor settings for uh, the California and New York jurisdictions if you have that enabled. Any unassigned shifts that are unable to be filled will populate into an additional section here saying unassigned shifts if that will be a good indication for you if you need to do some hiring. 